Hello, my name is Rebecca, and this video is going to show you how to navigate through the speakers in the QuickSmart app. This app is available for iOS and Android. Please note, this video assumes you are connected via Bluetooth to your speakers. If you don't know how to do that, check out the links to the videos in the description below. And to navigate to different parts of this video, use the chapters section. The first thing that happens is the app will look for your connected speakers. Once you do this the first time, you do not need to do it again, unless you are adding a new speaker. I am in demo mode for this video, so your speaker names will look different, but the navigation will be the same. We can start with the ELX 212 SP Sub. It has the simplest navigation. So just touch the ELX 212 SP. You will see a red line that shows it is selected. Then touch connect. All of the speakers and screens can be viewed in landscape as well as portrait. It is mostly a preference, but some features are more easily accessed in different views. I will demo this as we go along. This is the control screen for the sub. Use these sliders to affect the volume. You can touch anywhere on that slider for the bar to work. Touch mute to mute and unmute your speaker. You will see it changes from white to red. Red is active, white is inactive, or that mute button will show gray as inactive. The red square in the corner will hide the other functions. This gives you a little bit more space on your screen. And the crossover is located here. Touch crossover to select a generic or a predefined EV speaker setting. Once you select it, it will automatically go back, or you can touch this back arrow here to go back. Next is mode. Touch mode and you can choose your setting. And when you select it, it will automatically go back to the main screen. Let's choose club, for example. Now you can see down here, it has changed. The three dots in the upper corner open the menu for that screen. At the bottom, we have the app settings. You can take a look through here to customize your layout if you'd like, like if you are left-handed, for example. I am not, so I'm gonna go back, touch the three dots, and then I'm going to touch rename. From here, you can use your phone or device's keypad to name it something you would like. I'm going to say subwoofer. You can use the small arrow here to go back to the select your speaker screen. And that is the navigation for the subwoofer. Next, we will check out the tops, starting with the ELX 212P. So let's touch the 12P and then touch connect. The main difference for this speaker is you have a three band EQ. Touch anywhere on the slider to change that. And the other addition is location. Touch location. Use a small arrow to go back or let's select a location like monitor and it will automatically return to the previous screen. You can see the changes have been applied. Three dots shows that menu again. So another more common setup would be to have like two tops and a sub. So let's set that up. I'm gonna go back, select your speakers. And again, I am in demo mode, so let me just grab the correct outline. So we're going to take a system together. So I want the 212 SP sub, and I'm gonna grab these two tops, the 215s, and click connect. And now I have a system. So any changes I make on this screen affect everything. You can see as I slide the wheel, the DB indicators change for all of the speakers. Or if I mute, and unmute those changes show for all of the system so the system eq is in the middle and from this screen you can also access the crossover you can touch system matched for a system matched crossover but i want to show you something so i'm going to go back the arrow one more time so from this screen we can create a group so we're going to touch groups and now on this screen, you can either use the three dots at the top to add a group or just touch right here in the middle of the screen. Now we can select an icon for our group, like this cool little circle, and then decide which speakers are gonna be in that group. In our case, we want our tops. So I'm gonna grab one top, two tops, and touch save. So now if we touch this group tile, now you can see from this picture right here, we have our two tops. And we can select an EQ. We can select a crossover, go into crossover. 
So we can grab a generic one, but let's use the ELX 212 SP since that is actually in our setup. It's going to touch the three dots up here and we can rename our group. So again, use your device's keypad to type anything you like in there. Click done. We have mains. So this is really cool for setting up a full show. So let's go back one page. And if we do a landscape view here, we get this little layout, which is pretty cool. We have quick access of individual speakers in our system and the full system control. You can see when I touch mute, every speaker goes inactive or mute. And we also have group control. So if I mute the group, you see just those two tops get muted. You touch the tile, you see I renamed it mains. So we'll touch that tile. And now we go a little bit deeper in, it gives us the EQ layout. If I change the EQ in here, let's make it something obvious so you can see what's doing. I also unmute it so you can see that it's red. If we go back to one of our speakers, you can see that that EQ has been applied. So whatever we do to the speaker in the group, it happens to both. The three dots here can remove all your speakers. And now we start fresh. So that is a group and a system. Well, let's grab the Evolve 50 and touch connect. The difference for the speaker is the sublevel. No location or crossover, but we have this cool delay, touch delay. And from this screen, we can select a delay, use this large wheel along the side, or you can touch these plus or minus bars at the bottom to move in slower increments. Once you've dialed that in, use the small arrow to go back a screen, and you can see at the bottom, the delay is applied. Okay, let's select the 30M. So the 30M, the Evolve 30M and 50M navigation is the same. I'm just going to pick this one because it's on my screen. I would also like to note that if you check in the description below, you will see a link to the Evolve 50M's Quick Smart Link video that will show you how to link up to Evolve 50M. So let's touch connect. Okay, so for the 30M and 50M, we have an eight channel mixer, but before you get all excited, let me show you quickly where the delay for these speakers is located. We're gonna touch function. We're gonna switch it from mixer to basic. Make sure you read that warning and touch confirm when you are ready. So now at the bottom, we have our delay. So we'll touch delay and we can use this large side wheel to select our delay and again, the small plus and minus for smaller increments. Go back using the small arrow. Now let me just quickly change this back. You can see in the bottom, the delay is there. Please keep in mind the delay is no longer active when you switch to mixer. So now I'm gonna change my function back to mixer so we can play with that eight channel mixer. So let's touch edit mixer. The full eight channel mixer screen appears. If you select one of these tiles, it will bring you to that screen. So let's check out one. We touch the tile. Now we are in channel one or input one's control screen. From here, you can access all of the features, touch a feature like compressor and use that side wheel to change the value. So this page has the preset feature for that channel. So let's say you have vocals on this input. We can touch preset and change it to a voice filter. You see that's been applied down there. Three dots will allow us to rename our input. So we put a vocal filter on there. So now these are our super vocal. Done. And now it is named. So this is gonna help with organization for sure when you start to get a few things plugged in. You're gonna wanna make sure you know what has what channel. These large side arrows are going to allow you to scroll quickly between the channels or touch the small back arrow to return to the mixer screen and you have all those tiles for quick access. Now for a different view or layout, we can turn our device and get landscape view if you prefer. Now it looks more like a traditional mixer and you can see the FX1 and FX2 buttons better. In portrait view, they were a single tile. In this configuration, they are separate buttons. So let's start there. Touch FX1. And now we can use these sliders to send that effect 
to our super vocal. So you use these arrows along the side to scroll through the 22 effects to find one. Let's use this one. And touch FX2, and we can now pick from the other eight effects. Let's maybe grab a, ooh, a jet flanger. So now we'll send that to our super vocal. I'm sure that'll sound interesting. And now down here at the bottom, FX off, we touch that. That actually turns FX off for everything. So if I flip back to FX1, you can see white, it is inactive. Back to FX2, it is inactive. But I actually want that on, so I'm going to click it and uh, turn FX back on. So now what we can also do is we can click this tile for FX and it brings up this screen. So we can arrow through the FX on FX1 and FX2, but we don't have access to those sliders on this screen. So that's a little different. FX off is in the middle here to turn it off globally, off and on. But if you want to control the sense of your FX, go back to our mixer and you can see that now we have our sliders again. We can also change the value of these effects from an input. So let's touch our super vocal tile. Now we're in our super vocal page. And you can see down here the effects have been applied. And when we touch, touch our reverb and use the wheel, we can make our adjustments on that page. So just another way to mix and to navigate around. Let's go back to our mixer screen. And now we can check out aux. Touch aux. And use the sliders to send that channel to your aux output, maybe for monitors or a recording setup. Touch this tile to access the main aux screen. Now we can access our features like graphic EQ, GEQ in the middle. Pop that on. And these sliders, again, touch anywhere to move them, will allow us to dial in a little EQ. Enable in the middle here turns the graphic EQ on or off for the aux sense. And the three dots for the screen will give us a quick reset if we did not like our beautiful EQ that we just made. Small arrow goes back to the mixer. Well, it goes back a page. And we can change our aux output down here at the bottom and go back a page. So we'll go back one more to our mixer screen and we can touch main. These are our main output sliders, so adjust our level. We navigate to our main control screen using this tile. We can access the graphic EQ for the main outputs. Main out here on the side for selecting our mix output. So that is the Evolve 30M and Evolve 50M navigation. Again, for a quick smart link on the Evolve 50M, check the link in the description below. So we're going to go back to select speakers. I'm going to get out of demo mode for this next section because I would like to show you the Everse 8s. So I will choose one. Keep in mind your names may be different. It is just the identification of the speaker. So I'm going to touch and touch connect. Okay, here is my Everse 8 screen. Crossover, location, function, and mode. This is all the same navigation as the other speakers we went through that are quick smart enabled. So let's jump into our edit mixer so we can see where some of the Everse 8 cool functions are. Touch. So we have our mixer screen. We'll touch a tile, like for one. We have that tile's navigation. Let's touch the function, use the wheel to scroll through, use the plus or minus to make micro adjustments. Bottom middle, we have 48 volt phantom power for this channel. Just touch it to turn it off or on. Presets in the corner. Change this to UNND76. That's that. The large arrows again allow you quick movement from channel to channel. Back to the mixer screen. The main tile gives us access to a parametric EQ. 
If parametric EQ isn't what you're looking for, click mode in the corner and you can have a graphic EQ. Read the warning because it will reset your settings and click confirm. Now we have a mat our main graphic EQ and globally turn it on or off in the middle. And to go back to parametric EQ, we'll just touch mode, touch PEQ, touch confirm, and we're back to our parametric EQ. You can also touch the dots on the screen to make your adjustments. If you know that will sound terrible, we can touch the three dots and reset that fully. Back to the main mixer. The other really cool feature, we're going to go back to speaker, go back to select your speakers. And I'm going to select both of them. Connect. And when you have two Everse 8s in a system, you can enable the Bluetooth audio link. Touch here. Now you just choose which speaker you would like to be left or right. By just touching that. Or you can unlink them if you don't want to use them in the stereo link. Go back to system. From here, if we touch one of our Everse 8s and touch edit mixer. And if we go into the Bluetooth tile down at the bottom right, you can see it says that we are Bluetooth linked right. We can also change it from here. All right, so that is all the navigation I have to show you. For more EV how-to videos, subscribe to the channel and check the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.